Hey, welcome to a new video. There's a good chance you've been in an attraction before. After all, these activities are for the young and old. But did you know that there's also a lot of adventurous and scary attractions? So in today's video, we're gonna tell you all about the scariest attractions in the world. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. The attraction named Edgewalk is located in Toronto, Canada at an incredible height of 1,150 feet or 350 meters. For a long time, the CN Tower of which the attraction is built was the tallest building in the world, but was passed by the Burj Khalifa in Dubai in 2007. The CN Tower serves as a transmission tower and is for the most part hollow inside, but it does have an extension with various tourist facilities, including a restaurant, a cafe, and several viewing platforms. This place is visited by millions of people every year, and one of the reasons for this is the attraction called Edgewalk. You are attached, and the only thing that keeps you from falling is the safety steel. There can be six people on the platform at a time, and if you dare, the instructor will let you lean back. For most people, this is incredibly scary, especially if you're afraid of heights. Rafting is an activity where you're in an inflatable boat. In most cases, you're sailing on wild waters, and for adventurous people, this is very cool to do. Since the 80s, rafting has become more and more popular, and in some cases, it's also done as a sport. Some of the places you can raft are in Nepal, Turkey, France, and several places in America, and many more countries. But what I'm going to talk about now is rafting on the Nile River in Uganda. The Nile is located in Africa and is the longest river in the world at 4,100 miles or 6,650 kilometers. Here you'll find one of the wildest rivers and therefore you must wear a life jacket and a helmet at all times. Wild water rafting is also definitely not for everyone as you don't really have control over what will happen and the strong rapids can be quite terrifying. The Dododampa attraction located at the foot of Mount Fuji is not for people who do not like speed. Since its opening in 2001, this roller coaster has held the title of fastest roller coaster with an inversion. Before the launch, you hear a voice in Japanese counting down. The frightening thing about this is that the voice often makes a false countdown, so you don't know when the ride will start. But before you know it, you are launched at a speed of 112 miles per hour in just 1.5 seconds. After the rapid acceleration, you will approach one of the largest loopings in the world, where you will go through at a speed of 25 miles per hour, or 40 kilometers per hour. This attraction is definitely not for the faint-hearted. Most people will go to a stadium to watch soccer, but at the Moses Mabhita Stadium, located in Durban, South Africa, you can take an exciting jump. And not just any jump. This is the world's highest swing, according to the Guinness World Records. You jump down 262 feet, or 80 meters, after which you fly through the stadium. The Big Rush Swing, as the attraction is called, is pretty terrifying, and not for the faint-hearted. Once you are tied up, you can jump down, and fly to the middle of the stadium at a speed of 75 miles per hour. Do you dare to take this leap, or do you think this attraction is too scary? Let me know in the comments. Even experienced climbers with enormous guts hesitate when they come face to face with the Austrian Stairway to Heaven. The Stairway to Heaven is a real ladder that is 141 feet or 43 meters long and hangs in the air between two mountains. And it's not just any ladder, it hangs at an incredible height of 2,300 feet or 700 meters above the ground. Look down and you'll immediately understand why this is not everyone's cup of tea. Believe it or not, but the Stairway to Heaven is considered the best part of the climbing trip on the Austrian mountain, Donner Kogel. Via Ferrata is the name of this climbing route, which means Iron Path. After about three hours, you finally reach the top of the mountain, which is an incredible 6,739 feet, or 2,054 meters, above sea level. Pretty terrifying, but the climbers who make it are rewarded with stunning views of the Alps. Zip World Velocity 2 is a zip line located in North Wales and known as the fastest zip line in the world. This attraction is located in a remote spot in the small town of Bethesda. The attraction opened in 2018 and has a top speed of 124 miles per hour or 200 kilometers per hour. According to the creators of Zip World, you go a little faster than when you fall during skydiving. You start at a height of 492 feet or 150 meters and fly above the Penrim Quarry a quarry which is one of the largest slate quarries in the world in the 19th century. 
The cave you fly over is more than 500 million years old. The attraction is also said to be the longest zip line in Europe. So if you're in the area and you do like an exciting adventure, it's definitely recommended. The Velocity 2 attraction costs about $100 or 90 euros, and the entire ride is about a minute long. The Step Into the Void attraction consists of a glass cage with a glass floor that goes above the precipice of the 3,842 meter high Aguilar de Midi mountain in France. It gives you a stunning view of the surrounding area of the Alps. The Step Into the Void attraction also holds the title for the highest attraction in Europe. To get here, you have to go via a cable car, which by the way, is the highest cable car in the world. As you can see, this adventure is not for people who don't like heights. But once you arrive at the destination, it must be an incredible feeling. Would you dare to do this? Normally, cooling towers serve as a heat exchanger of a thermal or nuclear power plant. But in Johannesburg, South Africa, not only did they decide to spray the cooling towers with graffiti, but they turned them into an attraction. The cooling towers were used during World War II and after 55 years were decommissioned. They're both about 100 meters high, and nowadays you can bungee jump between the two towers. How cool is that? But that's not all. You can also free fall from 70 meters into the tower itself. This is probably too scary for most people to do, but it's a very unique experience. You need nerves of steel to go on this next attraction, as the steel curtain holds three records. The roller coaster is located in the Pittsburgh Steelers theme park in Pennsylvania, USA, and has a height of 67 meters. The height is one of the records they have to their name. In addition, they also hold the US record for most inversions, and the world record for the highest inversion at 60 meters. Before you reach the top, it would take two long minutes. The entire roller coaster is 1,219 meters long, and you can reach a top speed of 121 kilometers an hour. The real attraction of the Steel Curtain attraction is not just its dizzying speed or height, but it has nine inversions, which can potentially make you nauseous. The Wicker Man is certainly not a typical roller coaster. In fact, it has to be the most ambitious and daring of them all. This roller coaster opened in March of 2018 at the British theme park Alton Towers in Staffordshire. It features two elements, wood and fire, which at first doesn't really go together. The Wicker Man is a wooden roller coaster with a creepy face, and during the ride, you'll see different fire effects. To make the attraction look real, 500,000 working hours and 7,500 tons of wood were needed. All in all, it cost the Alton Towers Park 18.5 million dollars, or 16 million euros. With a top speed of 44 miles per hour, or 70 kilometers per hour, the roller coaster goes through the Wicker Man. However, it's not as dangerous as it looks. Bradley Wine, the manager of the project, assures passengers that although the track is made of wood, the part that incorporates the fire is actually made of concrete and steel, which would make it safe. Most roller coasters and attractions focus on the height and fall to make it a nerve-wracking experience you'll never forget. But that's not the case for Formula Rosa. In fact, this attraction is known as the fastest roller coaster in the world. Formula Rosa opened up in 2010 at the Ferrari World theme park in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. The roller coaster is inspired by a Formula One racetrack, and it can reach a top speed of 160 miles per hour. Using a hydraulic launch system, it can accelerate extremely fast in just five seconds. Because the speed is so high, people should wear safety goggles, because even a small insect or dust particle can be extremely dangerous. The Gelmerbahn is a roller coaster in Bern, Switzerland that doesn't look too scary at first glance. Initially, it was built to transport construction materials for a nearby reservoir. If you don't like heights, then this attraction is definitely not recommended. However, the roller coaster does provide a great view of the surrounding area. It stands at an altitude of 1,400 meters, and you go down steeply in some parts. For a long time, it was even the steepest roller coaster in Europe. The roller coaster is no less than 1,028 meters long and gives you an unforgettable experience. From June to October, you can visit it, and only during the day. Why it's not open at night and other months is probably due to the climate. Base jumping is a type of skydiving where you don't jump from a plane or a helicopter, but from a high point. Kajirig is a 3,600 foot or 1,100 meter high mountain in the municipality of Sandines in western Norway where you can do this activity. 
Here, there are several high cliffs you can jump from, which will give you a huge adrenaline rush. The free falls last only a few seconds, so it's necessary to open up the parachute almost immediately after the jump. For many people, this is an unforgettable experience, which is the closest thing to flying. For centuries, stories have been circulating that people really want to be able to fly. And this unforgettable experience is the closest you can get to that. But it can be even crazier. In 2017, there was a Latvian company called Ariones that specialized in making drones. They came up with the idea of testing the weight the drone can carry by having someone hang from it. In this video, we can see a skydiver who was taken to an altitude of 1,100 feet or 350 meters and made a successful jump. In my opinion, this has to be one of the most unique ways to base jump. Are you someone who loves to fly and might want to go into space in the future? Then this attraction known as the Vomit Comet might be for you. This plane is used to train astronauts, or it's used for certain research. Among other places, these flights are offered daily in Tampa, Florida, in the United States. In case you would like to try it, this expensive activity will cost you about $4,000, or 3,500 euros. However, if you have the money and you want to experience what it's like to fly, then this might be something for you. By the way, it might be nice to mention that a band called OK Go recorded a video clip here. During the flight, they did all kinds of acrobatic stunts. According to the band itself, they needed several attempts to accomplish the tricks, and it would have taken them a total of 20 flights. We're going to stay in Japan for a while, because in the city of Yokohama, there is a roller coaster that is fittingly named Vanish, because it will literally make you disappear. This is located in Cosmo World, and it's a terrifying roller coaster where you go through an underwater tunnel. It is a 1 minute and 58 second ride that reaches a height of 115 feet or 35 meters. The roller coaster also has a helix, but the highlight is the almost vertical dive into the water. If you still think this attraction is too scary, the park also has a luminous merry-go-round. But what sounds more fun, the most exciting ride of your life or the luminous merry-go-round? Which one would you like to try? Let me know in the comments. Apparently not all attractions are in theme parks, because this tree is a tourist attraction that you can find in Pemberton, Australia. The tree is a height of 58 meters, and visitors can climb it. However, this is not for everyone, as you don't have a safety harness, and if you're afraid of heights, it's definitely not recommended. When you get to the top of the lookout, you can look over the entire forest. These lookouts were therefore used in the 1930s and 40s to see if a fire had broken out anywhere. Today, people can climb the tree if you have enough guts. It's said that most people don't dare to go beyond 20%. It's also a miracle that no one's ever fallen down. However, someone is said to have had a heart attack after realizing how high up the tree he was. If you're looking for a challenging attraction, then you should definitely try the Tagata. This attraction is probably among one of the most dangerous attractions in the world. In fact, this attraction is banned in the United States and Australia due to safety concerns. However, these attractions can be found in South Korea and China, among others. The Tagata is a large metal round bowl with seats that you have to sit on. Then the operator will make it spin and bounce quickly, so the idea is to hold on tight. In most cases, music is played and you bounce synchronously to the beat of the music. Because the attraction is unpredictable, sometimes it causes physical injuries. This is the reason why they are banned in several countries. Would you like to try this attraction? The Colossus attraction is a steel roller coaster located at Thorpe Park in Surrey, England. This attraction is known for its multi-inversions. In fact, it was the first roller coaster in the world to have 10 inversions. So if you get nauseous easily, then I would recommend you skip this one. For many people, an inversion is one of the most exciting elements of a roller coaster ride. Until the year 2013, Colossus was the roller coaster with the most inversions, but another roller coaster built in England called the Smiler had 14 inversions. However, this roller coaster had to be closed because it was too dangerous. One of the most exciting moments of the Colossus ride has to be the multiple rolls as seen in this video. The entire ride lasts 1 minute and 45 seconds, and it has an average speed of 45 miles per hour, or 72 kilometers per hour. Takabisha is the steepest roller coaster in the world, located in the Japanese theme park Fuji-Q Highland in Yamanashi. The roller coaster is made by the German company Grestelar, and was officially opened on July 16, 2011. You start in a dark tunnel, after which you are launched about 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour. 
The roller coaster has seven inversions, and once at the top, you end up with the scariest part. This is called the vertical freefall, which has a gradient of 121 degrees, making it the steepest roller coaster in the world. So with this achievement, they also landed in the Guinness Book of World Records. The roller coaster gives you a dizzying feeling as the seats rotate regularly, and the entire ride takes about two minutes. Takabisha is also definitely not for people with a weak stomach. But if you're a roller coaster fanatic, then this is definitely one to have on your list. You're guaranteed to think twice before embarking on the world's longest zip line. The Jebel J zip line is about 2.7 kilometers long, which also puts it in the Guinness World Records. If you want to try the zip line, you must travel to Ras Al Kamai in the United Arab Emirates. The zip line is at a height of 1,680 meters, and then you tear down at speeds of 150 kilometers per hour. The zip line is installed on the highest mountain in the United Arab Emirates, and it's not for the faint hearted. The entire flight takes two to three minutes and ends on a floating platform. After that, you can decide to take another zipline ride, unless you've had enough. In a second, you'll find out why this attraction is called the Falcon Fury. This attraction is located in the land of Pantopia in Florida, USA. At the top of the attraction, you get a view of downtown Bush Gardens, Tampa. The attraction is 102 meters high, and from that height, you will experience a free fall that lasts 5 seconds at a speed of 100 kilometers an hour. The Falcon Fury is also known as the highest free fall attraction in America. Why it got this name is because of the Falcon, a bird that dives at a high speed to catch its prey. The cost to accomplish the Falcon Fury was an incredible 5 to 6 million dollars. You would love this type of attraction. It's definitely a must try. For this attraction called Sky Slide, we have to go back to Los Angeles, California. If you've just come from the theme park with the dinosaurs that I mentioned earlier in this video, you should also visit the US Bank Tower. In fact, by car, these places are only 10 minutes apart. Sky Slide is a glass slide that goes down the side of a 1,017 feet or 310 meter tall skyscraper. When you've arrived at the 70th floor, you can slide here through a glass slide to the 69th floor. The slide is only 43 feet or 13 meters long, and it ends outside in the open air. Many people say they find it quite scary for the first time, but when you realize it's over in a matter of seconds, most people are eager to do it again. If strange creatures scare the crap out of you easily, then you should definitely not visit the Boonyip attraction in Australia. The Boonyip is a large animatronic built by Dennis Newell in 1972. It's located in the town of Murray Bridge and is free to visit. All you gotta do is push a button and this very creepy creature emerges from the water. It's said that the Boonyip is a tribute to a legendary half-man, half-fish monster. The story goes that there was once a man who became too greedy and caught more fish than he needed, which angered the elders. As punishment, he was turned into a Boonyip and banished from the river forever. Over the years, it became a story that teaches children to be wary of water and respectful of marine life. Would you dare to visit this attraction? Let me know in those comments. The Stratosphere is a hotel and casino that opened on the Strip in the world-famous city of Las Vegas in Nevada, in the United States in 1996. The building stands at a height of 1,150 feet, or 350 meters, and over the years, several attractions have been made there. But before I show these, I should mention that the building has a hotel with 2,427 rooms, several restaurants, a swimming pool to relax in, and a casino. The highest attraction on the building is Big Shot. Here you go up and down and reach an incredible height of 1,080 feet, or 329 meters. The second attraction they have is called Insanity. In this attraction, you repeatedly spin around at the edge of their building. If this wasn't scary enough, they also have an X-Scream. In this attraction, it literally looks like you're about to fall off a cliff. Fortunately, it doesn't, but according to many people, this is the scariest attraction in the world. The final attraction is called Sky Jump. If you've tried all the attractions and don't feel like taking the elevator down, you can simply jump down with the Sky Jump. The Cave of Swallows is a large cave and is located in San Luis Potosi, Mexico. The cave is said to be 60 meters wide, with a depth of as much as 500 meters. In addition, it also belongs to one of the largest open pits in the world. As a visitor, you can admire it up close, but some people went further and decided to base jump here. You could say that this is only for thrill seekers. Most people would be terrified of what is going on in the open void. 
According to articles, the cave has never been fully explored, but the bottom is said to be home to animals, including scorpions, snakes, and insects. I think you can imagine why this jump has become popular with tourists. At the longest water slide in the world, located in Lishui, China, you don't have to worry about the attraction making you too dizzy. But it's an attraction that goes down hundreds of meters. The water slide is built against Puhasi Mountain and goes at a speed of 32 kilometers per hour in some places. The entire water slide is 2,723 meters long and is a breathtaking experience for many people. It's said to have taken more than two years to complete. In 2019, it also officially entered the Guinness Book of World Records. Would you dare to go down this water slide? Let me know in those comments. We're staying in Austria again for a while. Because in the municipality of Meters, you have the steepest and scariest toboggan run in the Alps. According to many people, the Meters Alpine Coaster is one of the best and most exciting rides of their lives. The views are stunning, and there is enough time to enjoy them because the track is 9,186 feet, or 2,800 meters long. You go down a 2,100 feet or 640 meter high mountain through wooded areas. There are 40 steep turns and you can reach a maximum speed of 26 miles per hour or 42 kilometers an hour. But don't be afraid, the attraction is equipped with brakes, so you can hit the brakes if you get too close to a person in front of you. There's a good reason why this attraction is called the Sky Screamer. This is because you will probably start screaming. In this attraction, you are strapped to a chair and slowly you start to spin. However, you will notice that you are suddenly at a height of 240 feet or 73 meters and flying through the air at a speed of 40 miles per hour. What can be quite scary is that the thin cables that hold your chair also begin to spin. It is of course a beautiful view, but if you do not like heights, this attraction is not really recommended. Another attraction that's pretty scary is the Tower of Terror, located in the Gold Reef City theme park in Johannesburg, South Africa. This attraction prides itself on its incredibly high g-forces. A g-force is a gravitational force used to refer to an acceleration. It's the force of gravity that you feel on your body as the ride accelerates. Tower of Terror is currently the roller coaster with the highest g-force in the world. This attraction is too intense for many people, so they prefer to skip it. If you decide to try this attraction, you start at a height of 154 feet, or 47 meters, and you'll pass through a mine at a speed of 56 miles per hour, or 90 kilometers per hour. Pretty cool experience, but this attraction is definitely not for everyone. Unlike the other attractions on this list, the Edge Coaster is not found in a theme park, but on top of a hotel building. The Edge Coaster, as the attraction is called, sits at the top of the Crown Regency Hotel in Cebu City, Philippines. The building has 45 stories and is an incredible 492 feet or 150 meters high. At this height is also the Edge Coaster, and if you're afraid of heights, this attraction is not recommended. However, it's a unique roller coaster that goes around on the roof of the building. This gives people a full view of the city, but it doesn't stop there. To add to the excitement of the adventure, the roller coaster tilts up to 45 degrees over the edge. Even with a safety harness on, this could be quite terrifying. We start with an attraction that is said to be 3,000 feet or 915 meters above the ground and that many people dare to enter for not even a thousand dollars or euros. Meet the Flying Kiss, a Chinese attraction located on a cliff in the city of Chongqing. In this attraction, you can overlook the entire city while standing on a rotating observation deck. It is inspired from a mythical love story called the Flying Kiss. The reason it is called the Flying Kiss is because the pillars holding you seem to blow a kiss when it reaches its peak. The attraction has no seats or seat belts, just a fence that keeps you from falling hundreds of feet or meters down. This probably won't be your thing if you don't like heights. Are you brave enough to venture into the mouth of a growling, life-size Godzilla? The Godzilla Interception Operation Awaji is located in the Nijijen no Mori Park on the Japanese island of Awaji. It looks like a scene with monsters from a movie. The attraction is as follows. You stand on a platform and are launched via zipline, after which you go straight into the mouth of the Godzilla. After this ride, you enter an exciting shooting game in which you try to prevent Godzilla's cells from growing. The theme park is very proud of this attraction and says that this is the only life-size Godzilla attraction ever built. So if you like the Godzilla movie series, this attraction is definitely a must-see. Considered one of the most popular attractions in China, 
The bubble tram stands at a height of 1,493 feet, or 455 meters. The attraction is built on the Canton Tower, an iconic landmark of the city of Guangzhou. The Canton Tower is 968 feet, or 600 meters high, and is the tallest TV tower in China, and the third tallest TV tower in the entire world. The bubble tram is also sometimes described as a place where time stands still. On top, you also have the sky drop, which is known as the highest vertical freefall in the world. If you've had enough of all the attractions, you can eat at a rotating restaurant in the same building. Or, if you're not hungry, you can look down through several observation decks, which gives you a great view of the city. If you like adventure, then you should definitely visit the Cave of the Winds Mountain Park, located in Colorado, USA. You can take a tour here, and you'll be told about the creation of beautiful cave complexes. So if you're interested in caves, this is really a must. But of course, we're talking about attractions in this list. And yes, this park also has an attraction called the Pterodactyl, that for many people will be way too scary. You see, this attraction is located at the edge of a 200 foot or 61 meter deep cliff. If you're brave enough for this, then you'll be launched into a cliff at a speed of 100 miles per hour, or 160 kilometers per hour. Have you ever seen any of the Saw movies? If you have, you're probably a big fan of this following attraction. This is in fact the world's first horror roller coaster, located at Thorpe Park in Surrey in United Kingdom. The roller coaster has a vertical drop where you descend at a speed of 88 km per hour, and also has loops and sharp turns, all in the theme of the Saw character Jigsaw. If you're a fan of the movie Saw, then this attraction should definitely be on your bucket list to try out. The Wanshang Adrofakin theme park is located in Changping, China, and in my opinion, it definitely has some of the scariest attractions in the world. The reason is because it's located at a height of 500 feet, or 153 meters, in a mountainous area. Once you reach the top, there are several small attractions, including a carousel. But if you're not afraid of heights, at the edge of a huge cliff, there's an A-shaped bridge that stretches 262 feet, or 80 meters across the valley. They also have a long zip line that extends high above the mountain area. I should also mention the swings that extend 59 feet, or 18 meters, from the cliff. And perhaps the most popular attractions are the bridge-like structures made of wood, where you have to try to get to the other side. Of course, you're probably secured, but if you're afraid of heights, I don't recommend looking down. So this attraction is really only for the thrill seekers. Disneyland is known for its magical and kid-friendly attractions, but Disney also has attractions that can be quite scary. One of these attractions is the Expedition Everest, a steel roller coaster located in the Animal Kingdom's theme park in Florida, USA. It's the fastest roller coaster in the park and stands at a height of 200 feet or 61 meters. For a long time, it was also in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most expensive roller coaster ever made. The entire construction cost was a whopping $100 million. During this ride, you'll encounter the legendary snow monster, the Yeti. Another part of the ride that can be scary, if you don't know about it, is when you come out at a broken rail. At this point, the roller coaster stops, and you'll start riding backwards, which will be quite scary for some people. If you're a big fan of the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World films, then you'll definitely love the following attractions. Universal Studios Hollywood is a movie studio and a theme park located in Los Angeles, California in the United States. In July of 2019, they had opened a new attraction called Jurassic World Ride. The ride lasts for several minutes, and you come across all kinds of different dinosaurs that move. They do this through animatronics and make it feel like you're really in the dinosaur era for a while. The scariest part of the ride is the dark area where several dinosaurs appear out of nowhere. At the beginning of the ride, you'll get to see a huge mosasaur that inhabited our oceans 65 million years ago. In addition to the ride, the park also has added several dinosaurs that were seen in the Jurassic World movie, including the blue velociraptor. All in all, this theme park is an unforgettable experience, and from what I've seen, it's definitely recommended. At an amusement park in Shenzhen, China, called Window of the World, there's an attraction that offers the most terrifying experience. Samadhi, as this ride is called, gives you a 4D experience of experiencing death by cremation. But you don't need to be scared, it's only a simulation. However, the creators made sure to make it as realistic as possible. You'll be placed in a coffin, and then the furnace will blow hot air with light projections to create the feeling of flames. 
This is because the creators wanted to give people the most real experience possible of what death feels like. Many people who have tried this attraction swear that they'll never return after experiencing it. Earlier I showed you the Big Rush Swing, but this record has recently been broken by China. Officially recognized by the Guinness World Record, this is the world's highest cliff swing. The attraction is located in the Longgong National Geo Park in Chongqing, China. The cliff swing is located at the top of 2,300 feet, or 700 meter high cliff, with a top speed of 81 miles per hour. You swing over the edge of the mountain, which looks quite terrifying. The arch to which the swing is attached is located above the cliff at a height of 328 feet, or 100 meters. All you have to do is attach yourself to a safety harness, and then you are launched at a height of 354 feet, or 108 meters. Many people in the comments said they would rather skip this cliff swing because it's way too high and scary. What did you think the scariest attraction on this list was? And which one would you like to try? If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen to take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.